Today I will be showing you about 25 of my vintage cigarette lighters. I've been collecting for over 20 years and I collect lighters that use lighter fluid and have a wick. I do not collect butane or gas lighters. This is a small KW lighter. And I'll be moving on. This is one of the smallest lighters with a sn little snuffer here to cover the wick to put it out, put the fire out. And I think this is an inch long. Forgot the name of it. Uh, let's see. The last name is Baby. Baby something. This is an Illico lighter. I don't know what country made this. Very well made, like most of my lighters that I collect are very, these older lighters are very well made and quality. This is a pistol lighter. This one was made in the US. I like pistols and I like pistol lighters. This is another pistol lighter made in Japan. This is a quality lighter. You see the mechanism, the flint wheel. A little miniature lighter from Japan, about an inch long. This is a transfo lighter. It doesn't take any fuel at all. You put a flint in here and you spin this here and it shoots a shower of sparks out to light your cigarette. Uh, made in France. I've got a copper one here and I've ne never seen a copper one so. I also have the extra large flints for that. Here's a lighter from Australia. And push button lighter, which I like push buttons. You see the gears in there are called Wolf's Teeth. Very well made. Unusual mechanisms, which I love unusual mechanisms. Jerry can lighter. Another Jerry can lighter. This is a KW and the date is 1939. This has got a button on each side. You got to push both of them for it to open. This is very unusual and very quality made. I love this lighter. This is a DP lighter. The initials DP. Brand new. Mint condition. Push button. Nassau lighter. This is a brass one. I've never seen a brass one, but collectors really like these lighters, so they're highly collectible. And some of these are very expensive. I try to buy my lighters from flea markets, 
and garage sales. I usually find some pretty good bargains, which I'll show you one especially. This is a mint Calibri uh, kickstart lighter. Bob Rogers sold me this years ago. He's a very famous lighter collector that passed away over a year ago now. He got me started in lighters. And this is a very unusual mechanism. Beautiful quality lighter. Thank you, Bob. A German lighter, German watch lighter. It has no name on it, which I don't understand. These uh, artists that make these beautiful items and don't put their name or the brand of it on it. This is silver. I get it's dirty right now, but it's it's stamped silver, but and made in Germany. This is called a lift arm. Anytime a lighter lifts up like that, it's called a lift lift arm. This lighter, I, this name is, if you can read that, I can't. I, anyway, it's got a uh, kind of a hidden mechanism here. It lifts off, it lifts, lifts off the top to bring up the lighting mechanism. One just sold on eBay for over 700, which is way too much for this lighter. I don't know what I paid for it, but nothing like that. Nice looking lighter. This is one of my favorite lighters. It's called the Charles Lighter. Made in England. Uh, one of my favorite lighters. It looks like it's a new condition or damn near new condition. And this here is you lift this up here to load the flint, which I can't get. All right, there we go. The flint goes in there. One of my, like I said, one of my favorite lighters. This is a senior lighter, and I don't know what country it came from. Can't read that, but. Let's see here, push button, and then you have a, another compartment for matches. In case you uh, run out of lighter fluid. Another one of my favorite lighters, solid silver. It should be, it really looks nice when it's cleaned up. It's a tank lighter. Uh, looks like about an inch and a half long. Made of, like I said, solid block of silver, made in Mexico. You lift up the back here to put the flint in it. And the side where you put the fuel in it. But one of my favorites. Okay, next light, next two lighters are Dunhills. I believe this is a Square Boy, if I remember correctly. They've been stored, and I haven't looked in these at these lighters for a while. Looks like somebody's name there. It's uh, I think it's a little over an inch square. Highly qualify uh, uh, quality lighter, Dunhill, and then. We have the Broadway, one of my favorite lighters. And what I like about this, it's got a secret trap door or secret door to open it up for the flint. And it's so well made, you, you can hardly see the seams in the middle. Let's see if I can open it. There we go. I love these lighters.
This one is a pipe flam or flame. I'm not sure. Never seen it before. I've been offered a lot of money for it. Very unusual mechanism. Un really weird. Opens up there. This here brings out the the wick barrel. It's for a, a, to light a pipe. The star, I'm guessing, is Czechoslovakian, but I'm not sure of that. I paid $15 for this, and I've been offered 1000 for it, because I've never seen it before, and uh, I haven't found anybody that has seen it before. If anybody has information on this lighter, please tell me or contact me. Pipe Flum. This is a German lighter. It's a Kramer lighter, probably made in the 30s and 40s. What's on you? 1910. I don't know about that. Okay, uh, this is what makes it unusual. Obviously, a German soldier owned this. And every time I show somebody my collection, they want to buy this immediately, but it's not for sale. This is history. I love history, and this is a part of history. This is one of my favorite lighters. It is a ring with a hidden mechanism in it. You slide this up, or slide it down, I forgot. Okay, I just slid it down. Okay, the me lighting mechanism uh, pops out. See the sliding door? That's where you put the flint and the fuel. It's, uh, I'm not sure, I've been told it's made in Austria and other people said Germany. It's uh, very expensive and very rare. And I just love it to death. This is also one of my favorites. It's an Echo 8 lighter, mint in box, instructions, which I haven't even got to yet. It's been stored for so long. And it's missing a, uh, a film roll, I think, right there. There's empty space for it, but anyway. This is there's the lens. It's a spy lighter. Made in the 40s or the 50s. Like I said, mint. And I haven't yet uh, read the instructions on how to operate it. And you can still buy the film for it. Uh, it's actual spy lighter that they've used. I'm, sh I'm sure they don't use this anymore. But these are hard to find, especially mint in box like I have. And this about uh, concludes this video. I hope to buy, uh, put another video on lighters because I got uh, more lighters I would like to show. And that about covers it.